All right, everybody. Tonight at Fish and Liquor, we're going to show you how to make Buck Red Buck's famous fish stew. We'll try to do this real fast. One thing you're not going to need, you will not need any chicken. Another thing you will not need, you will not need a great big old Boston butt. You're not going to need that. All right. What you are going to need is some flounder, but that's for later. So anyway, here we go. Crock Pot 101. Turn that fucker up on high. Vegetable stock, not chicken stock, not beef stock, vegetable stock. In she goes. Come on, baby. We ain't got all day. Get on in there. Crock pot on high. There you go. Right. Celery. Bam, 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 bam. Merry Christmas. Have me. Oh, shit. Hey man, put the chicken back over here. Hey, put the chicken in the fridge. Move, dog. Move, move, move. Go, 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 go. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Get some shit together. Got to find a knife. Give me a knife, man. You got a knife? Knife, man. Voila, there's a knife. A good one. Clean, too. How about that? All right, just chop this shit up. Chop that top part off. Move, dog, move! Damn! There's nothing left in that pot, dog. Cut that celery up right there. Usually I clean it, but these days, shit looks pretty damn clean. Chop up your celery there. Did I mention you're gonna need some celery? Chop that shit up. Put that shit in there. Alright? It's a great soup. Easy to make. If you like chopping vegetables, it's easy to make. Really, it's just a vegetable soup. But at the very end, when she's all cooked and hot, so before you get ready to eat, what you want to do, you want to lay some of that there flounder on top, let it cook on top, and go ahead and get it off in full pieces. And you do that every time you want another bite. I mean, every time you want another get ready to eat. So anyway, that's a trick to that. Don't let that fish cook too much and go down in the bottom. Just barely cook it on top when that shit's super hot. It only takes like three minutes to cook. It's great. All right, vegetables, vegetables. All right, I like these little mini carrots. Little baby ones. Bam. Drop them fireflies in there. Bam. Boom, boom, like that. All right. What else you gonna need? Yeah, you don't need. Put your vegetables in first. That's what I suggest because uh, you don't you don't want to have too much juice in there. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. You don't want if you put too much juice in there, you might not have room for your vegetables. So put your vegetables in first. We're gonna start adding our juices. All right, so I'll wash that off there a little bit. Hot water works better. Hot water. That's what I'm talking about. Some hot water. And if you people out there know what I'm talking about, hot water is important. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna mention no names. I ain't gonna point no fingers. You know who you are. Well, anyway. <laughs> I got a little zucchini right there. Go we'll chop the top of that off. Discard that. And uh, just chop it up there. In the old way. You don't care. I don't care. It don't matter. Just chop it up. Bam, bam. Sometimes I uh, add the zucchini later, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Doing a rush thing here. I want to get this shit going. I don't really care. Yeah, it'll dissolve a little bit. You don't want your fish dissolving. That's okay with zucchini or squash. I got squash and zucchini there. Chop that up. Chop, 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 chop. Good vitamins. Keep it healthy. People hacking on you all the time. You know, everybody's sick. So this might boost you up there. Keep you from getting sick. You never know. So you trust me, you don't want to be sick because that shit sucks. Okay. Uh, I've got some portobello mushrooms. I'm going to wait a little while to put them in because those really don't need much cook time. So remember that. See what else I got in the pot. Uh, nothing in the pot right there. So 
What we're gonna go down with some stewed tomatoes next. Bam, bam, bam. Like I said, don't put too much of your juices in. It's just a vegetable soup. It's very good. A couple of secret ingredients. Fix it and get to those. Tomatoes, juice and all, that's what I do. Put two cans of that in there. Two cans in there. Like that. Bam, bam. You can use any kind you want. Actually, you can pull whatever you want in this soup. You know, it don't matter. This is all Walmart had to offer there, so that's what I got. Bam, bam, one more time, and there she goes. Stew tomatoes, almost full. Bam, bam. There, secret ingredient, tomato paste. You want to put at least one can of tomato paste in there. There, tomato paste, you know. You want that in there. Don't make a mistake. Don't want water in this soup. There's a treat with bread. Vegetable stock. Not beef, not chicken. Vegetables. Get that tomato paste in there. This is very important, this tomato paste. I don't know why, but it is. If you got a problem, I'm going to take it over Buck Red Buck. This is his dish. Let me see what I got. Can't get it all out of there. Oh, yeah. I get it out of there. I'm going to make the video short. Okay, one more secret ingredient over there. Oh, here we go. That's it. Okay, juice of one lemon. Okay, it's important. Don't know why it's important. Take it out with Buck Red Buck. Alright? Alright, so we're gonna soften our lemon up real good. You know? And that's it. Almost. Soften it up a bit. You don't want no seeds in here. Lemon seeds are very bitter. If you ever bitten into one or chewed one, super bitter. So you don't want no lemon seeds in there. That was funny. Yeah, there's a seed. You can put that in there like that. Bam, bam, one more time. Like I said, I'm going to add my mushrooms. High quality mushrooms after a little bit. Bam, bam, nice soup for y'all. This is another fine how do you do program. Let's see, we got one more thing to go. Oh, don't make the mistake of just getting one thing of uh, vegetable broth. Make sure you get two just in case. Because I don't have, uh, not quite filled up over there. So just bam, bam, bam. Get that up in there like that. Fill that baby up. I like to use organic. I don't know why, but the organic shit is cheaper. It's kind of freaking me out. So just fill that puppy up right there like that. Save the rest because you might want to add a little something. A few days, maybe add a few more zucchinis or something. If you do it like me. Scrub them a little up there a little bit. She's on high. This has been another fine how do you do it video from uh, Sailor Jerry of Fish and Liquor during the holidays. And uh, Merry Christmas to all y'all. We just gonna let that cook for about three hours while we drink. Later on, we just lay a little fish on there and that fish will cook two, three minutes. You done, baby. Peace out, everybody.